Hello, it's Victoria from Coastal Themes and I am super excited and super happy to be back with a new tutorial and a new tutorial in a new category. So this is one of many Webflow tutorials coming and this tutorial will be super quick, super simple. If you are new to Coastal Themes, we make super easy, quick tips and tutorials for Ghost, for Framer and now for Webflow. And we also sell templates for all three of these platforms. So you can check those out in the link below. In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to add a button in Webflow. Super easy, super simple, and how to customize the settings and the styling. Top left in your Webflow interface, you've got this plus icon. Webflow gives us loads of pre-made elements. So we can see we've got sections. We've got some basic elements where that's where the button is. We've also got typography, CMS, ecom, media, forms, and loads more. But what we're going to do is simply click and drag to add the button and you can see it gives you a pre-made button it also gives you all the settings for linking it to where you need it to go so starting with the one you'd most expect you can link it to a url and here you can just paste in a url of your choice so i'm going to paste in facebook for example i can decide if i wanted to open in a new tab or not and then the next tab we've got is page. So this will link to another page in your Webflow site. So I can choose here. I've got a few. I've got about us. So maybe I want it to go there. The third tab is for linking to a section on the page. So this is for anchoring it down. So if you've got a section down here you want it to link to, let's say I want it to go to this block here, make sure in your settings for the section you've got an ID name on it. And I've called the section just so you can see. So if I scroll back up, click on this button, I can choose a section from my page. So I can see section, there it is. I can click on that. When the user clicks there, it will simply scroll them down to that position. The fourth tab is for email. This will open up the, the user's email client on their computer or on their phone. And you can populate the email you want the email to send to and the subject line. You might do sales at coastal themes and the subject sales inquiry and then when the user clicks the button it will open up their emails these lines will be pre-populated and they can simply type a message and send it straight to you the final option is phone this is super helpful if most of your audience is coming to your website on mobile let's say you're a tour company and you are selling trips to the usa and you want people to be able to call you to inquire or call your sales team you can put in a phone number so you can just put in whatever you need here with the dialing code and that will make sure that they can call you directly from their phone. So those are the main settings for the buttons. There's there's not that much else you need to know. <laughs> um, when we jump into styling, we can see how easy it is to style. So we will do a whole other video going through layout and spacing and sizing. But for the sake of this, we will look at how you style the background, the text and maybe adjusting the corners, for example. So we can see the background here is blue, but maybe I want it to be a nice corally red. And then I want the color of the fonts to be white. I want a pure white. And then maybe the text needs to be slightly smaller, so I can adjust this here. I can change the weight of the font. I can change the font itself, and I can also decide how it is aligned. So that's basic how you change the background, how you change the typography. If you want to start changing styling, you can see here we've got some padding. So this, these numbers dictate the padding, the numbers on the outside dictate the margins, but padding is what happens on the inside. So on the left, I've got 15 pixels, but I want to make this 32 pixels and I want it to be equal on the other side. And then maybe I want the top to be a bit smaller so I can adjust those. And now I can see I've got a slimmer button and I've got wider spacing on the left and right hand side. And then you can see that we have some hover effects. So to control those, you simply click on the down arrow here and you click hover. And now I can see hover has been selected and I'm now controlling the font color and the background color when the button has been hovered. So I can now adjust these. So maybe I want it to be darker on hover and I want the colour of the text to be blue instead. So now if I deselect this and I hover over those colours and styling is now applied. And obviously you can go wild with this, you can add animations, you can add so many other things, but this is just to keep it simple. You can add that hover state and then you can 
change the styling as you wish. You can also adjust the press state, focused, visited, so many different states. And then the last thing we have is the border radius. This just controls how curved the borders are. So if I apply a six pixel curve, you can see here that the side of the button just curves a little bit. And that's it. That's how you style up a button, change the settings of a button and add one to your Webflow page. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video and so happy to be back with our Webflow tutorials. Bye.